The right situation in Saudi Arabia was in the global spotlight after a recent study provided a dismal outlook of how the kingdom has been treating dissent. An inquiry by the United Nations says the kingdom is systematically using anti-terror laws to justify torture, suppress all dissent and imprison human rights defenders. The inquiry says many have already languished in prison for years and that others have been executed after blatant miscarriages of justice. This comes on the heels of a recent wave of arrests of human rights activists in the kingdom. And many are asking why Saudis have adopted a repressive approach toward voices of dissent. The world was shocked to realize that a fresh wave of arrests of female rights activists have been going on lately in Saudi Arabia. Rights groups say over a dozen have been arrested only over the past month for anti-state articles and similar contents they posted in social media platforms. The total figure of individuals targeted since September stands at 2,000 or so. None have been officially charged and remain incommunicado with no access to their families or lawyers. The arrested Saudi citizens are believed to have been targeted because they advocated for equal rights, the end of the male guardianship system and for the ban on women driving to be lifted. Their case is now flying in the face of reforms that are attributed to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The women of Saudi Arabia, which is a volcano ready to erupt, they, like most of the people of Saudi Arabia, know they are living in an absolute dictatorship. They know that whatever rights may or may not be said to be given, and usually they are not given, they're just said to be given, they can be taken away at any moment's notice. In less than a year as Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman has taken what many see as repressive moves to solidify his grip over power. To the same effect, he has adopted a series of calculated measures to restrict social liberties, often with the help of Western think tanks. There are already reports that citizens have become fearful from expressing their political views openly. Many that have done so have been arrested, accused of spying, treason and working against the interests of the state. Any story that has a negative approach to Saudi Arabia that details the human rights violations or all of the criminality of the royal family uh, to the world, the reporters are paid off, the newspapers are paid off and they counter it with other information uh, and mostly suppress whatever information goes on in Saudi Arabia. That's why even though Saudi Arabia is the United States' biggest ally in the entire Middle East other than Israel, you hardly ever see any information in the United States newspapers about Saudi Arabia. It appears from the current signs in Saudi Arabia that Prince Mohammed bin Salman is developing a police state situation. He's doing this while at the same time pretending to advocate limited social liberties. To the Saudis, it appears that they should brace themselves for the likelihood that one unaccountable man will rule them for decades to come. But the current sense of discontent will remain nonetheless, and it could only grow larger over the years.